Hello, and welcome to Late Call. <laughs> My neighbour can hear me, the, the soundproofing in this house is terrible. Anyway, before I go any further, yes, ich habe einen. So, uh, I've got a busted knee, Eddie bust my knife, Eddie bust the, the, uh, the glass here that's coming down the, uh, the glen here, almost fell in, and uh, what else did you bust Eddie? He was spilling, cooking everywhere, and oh what a, I thought I was the clumsiest clot on the planet, but no, no, Eddie, my next door neighbour. Clumsier. But you bust my knife. <laughs> I love that knife. I'll get you another one. He's a bastard. He did it deliberately. Anyway, uh, slight worry about tomorrow about my knee and uh, Eddie crossing the the glass there if he falls in again. That'll be a good one. So. Uh, We'll let you know, so I'm going to have a quick good night. See you all. I'll share this with you. All of that sound. Take care, everybody. Oh! Oh, so good. Good night. It's freezing! <laughs> it's steaming up. Hi folks, it's uh, just about 4.30 in the morning, I can't sleep, uh, although I did have a sleep for about 6 hours, uh, I'm steaming up in here again, temperature has dropped severely, well, I don't know what day, what temperature it is, but uh, it's definitely well below freezing, uh, there's frost all over the place, so I'm going to stay up, I uh, can't sleep, I've done something to this arm now as well, maybe through the night, maybe laying it too long, can give me a lot of pain, but I'll be fine. Uh, today, I cross over the hills towards Corrie Fee, uh, right over the plateau. Uh, I'm worried about my knee, I have to say. I'll take a, a few painkillers and see how we got on. Anyway, I just thought I'd leave this message. <laughs> In case no one finds me, I love you all. So there you go then. Catch you later. Run out of battery now. Good morning all. Just check this camera. Um that's a 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. This is the tail of one's quite beautiful scene, absolutely beautiful scene. Um, what is this? I have no idea what time it is. But, uh, right now I'm standing on a mini glacier here. Just wait for the sun to come up. It's calm. It may take a while because there's a block of cloud over there. Eddie's still sleeping. Uh, I just couldn't sleep. Just couldn't sleep at all. I think I was lying on my left arm. It gave me a bit of pain when I went to the toilet. And I couldn't get back to sleep after. It was just a pain in my arm. So, I've had two cups of tea. Feeling quite refreshed. I've had about six, maybe more hours sleep. So that's enough, I'll be fine. Biggest concern today is my knee or knees. I'm just going to take some uh, cocodamol. Is it cocodamol or something else? I can't remember. Codeine, some codeine. Uh, I have a, what I call a bomb. That I'm going to take a, I'll take this in emergencies that would certainly kill any pain. I think it's got morphine in it. It's a prescribed drug anyway, so I want to finish this off today. I'm not going to give up. 
and if it means my knee's busted for a few days after it, then so be it. Uh, I'm going to go for it. You might think it's a bit reckless, but I don't have a choice. Whatever I do, even if I was to go back, we've come about eight miles. <laughs> I'm going to have to go for it anyway. Or well, it's a helicopter out of here, and I'm not going through that. So, painkiller, some morphine, whatever it is. And, uh, off I go, ready. in that saddle right between there and there's another couple of hills to the left which I call a pair of tits that's what they look like on a map <laughs> anyway I've never seen that before Just, I mean I know that things freeze up but not to lens cleaner <laughs> instantaneously it's a beautiful morning Absolutely beautiful. I love these mornings. Pan round again. I'm running out of battery. I've only got about half a battery left. Maybe even less than that now. Look at that glow on the snow there. Swing around. I'm to hold this tripod as steady as I can. It's so stiff, it's jerking. It's so. Cool up there, go on. Just a bit of frozen. And for a mean eddy. Can't for the night. He lives, he lives. Eddie lives today. He's alive! He's alive! Are you getting your nuts hit? <laughs> I'll stop filming. <laughs> Good morning, Eddie.
See, I wasn't filming you there. <laughs> I see you're showing an ankle though. From a land far, far away. Look at the state of that. <laughs> I'll get some brew, eh? Well, folks, this is uh, my view of. Uh, we'll have to figure out what the name of that is over there. I don't know what it is. We'll have to get the map out. But uh, we're more or less basically on the plateau now. And it goes higher, it goes much higher right over there. Look at the ridge up there, fantastic, I'd love to go up there. That's, <laughs> I keep saying this, but that's for another day. We'll try and keep as high as we can just now. Southern Cairngorms folks. Maybe not as spectacular and dramatic as the Northern Plateau, but nonetheless, if that was to clear up a bit more, you'd see that big curry right round there. Superb. Eddie sporting his new Panasonic and ultra-wide angle lens. Envious? Absolutely. Well, just as we're walking away, it's starting to clear. But uh, that's the higher plateau up there. We're not going to see it probably. But never mind. But it is clearing, thank goodness. And it goes even higher again over there. I think that's Tom Dew up there. If that's what it's called, I think. That's a way up there, uh, right down the centre. It goes way up, doesn't it? Some, some parts of the plateau are 4,000 feet. Aye. We're not that high, but... We're about 3,000 3, over. Aye. 3, maybe even a bit more than that, Eddie. Aye. Well, when you think about it, the uh, one of the... It's 9,7 up here, over there. So it's definitely... About 3,000. We're up 3,000 feet. So it's not bad for two men in their 50s for a walk, eh? On, don't forget. Exactly. We're the only buggers. We're the only stupid people. Ah, everybody else has got their wee nap packs <laughs> and you know. Oh, this is great, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, each to their own. Thoroughly enjoying this. Yeah, great. Where's the pub? <laughs> Folks, you've got to have a look at this. If I don't stumble and fall first. We're almost right in the cliff edge. We dare go not much further. Aye, we've done the right thing. Aye, There's the forest. Absolutely superb. We're right in the plateau on the southern edge. Extraordinary. What a bloody view. Oh, yeah, we're right near the edge now. We've done the right thing. We know exactly where we're going now. Straight down. <laughs> and the forest down there, that's where we walked. All the way through it, up to here. Superb, man. What a first class adventure. Glend all folks, and it's glory, believe me, it's glorious, and the Angus Hills right through to the east, and they're taking it in, 
Good job, Eddie. No bad, my son. Hard boiled egg, 3,000 feet up. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be here to see this. Experience the depth of that and the height. Let the drop, you know, through the glen. Yeah. Outstanding. That's why they call him the Scotswell Camper. He does it wild. <laughs> Remember that map of the British Isles? In the snow. There Aye. it is down there. Aye. There's the there's the little Britain folks, see if I can get it in. Keep the cameras ready. Yeah. Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. <laughs> it's absolutely cracking. And next step, I think, is uh, Antarctica. Don't stop us now, we're having such a good time, we're having a ball. Right, time for some more painkillers. He'll be coming down the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming down the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming down the mountain. Fishing like a fountain. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, folks. You need to get. You, you, you need, need to come up here, here for your yeah. summer holidays. Come up here for your summer holidays. Aye. It's bogging. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow midges. Fill images and bog and snow. Well, that's where we were camped in that glen there. I can see exactly where we were. God, it seems so far away there. We came over that hill there. It's more than just a hill. Well, we thought we were at quite a few, but we're not. We've got about another mile to trek. It's a good mile, eh? A good mile or two, actually. But, uh, in fact, it's right over there. Uh, we'll get the heat one up. Man alive. We're right on the edge of the cliff. I'm on my knees because <laughs> if I wobble with the backpack on, I'm off. Have a look at that, folks. Look how flat it is at the top. There's a plateau. Well, we've misjudged that one a bit. Yeah. Absolutely. But what a view. And right in there is the bridge we crossed to get to our base camp. I wouldn't go too close to that edge no, anyhow. I'll tell you, I get the heebie jeebies with height. Glad I've no missed this. You can see what the ice has done, eh? it's just completely shaved the, the top of the hills off and the mountains off. Makes some canyon. Right, we've got a trek. Quite a few ruined there. Plenty of time. Aye, uh, it's going to be a. <laughs> well, anyway, so be it. Look at what we've found. Some wild trekking today, I'll tell you. <laughs>